It's Christine from 90 and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about to do's. So to do's are the items that you're working on in the next seven, maybe 14 days. So unlike a rock, which you set at the beginning of the quarter and then you've got 90 days to complete it, these are typically being created every single week and they're your immediate action items. So a to-do can be assigned to anybody on the team. So right now we are on the to-dos page in 90, which is found in this left-hand navigation here. And so we're looking at the leadership team. You can switch that to a different team if you'd like to, if you have access to other teams in your account. And then you can see what the to-do is. If it's done or not, will be through this check mark. So you can see once I check it off, it does cross it off or uncheck it. And then we can also see when it's due and who the owner is. So since we're looking at the full leadership team, I'm going to see everybody on the leadership team's to-dos. And if I wanna see just my own, I can always go to this My 90 page here. I currently don't have any assigned to me, uh, but this is a great view so that you can see across all of the teams you're a part of what to-dos are assigned to you. So if we go back to the to-dos page here, um, a lot of times when I do come here, I'll sort it by due date. And that way I can just see what's most urgent and at the top here, I can see what's past due, meaning it's not done by the specific due date. And if something's due today, it'll have a flag there so you get that same sort of notification. The to-do view is gonna look the same during the meeting as it does outside of the meeting. So right now we're not running a meeting, we're just looking at the normal to-dos page in, the, in an account. If we go to the meetings area here, level 10 meeting, we can start a meeting. You guys will see this every single week in the to-do list section. Uh, you can see it looks the same way, acts the same way. We can still check and uncheck things from here. And so if something is marked as done, we'll see that during the meeting as well. And once the meeting is over on the conclude page, there is the option to automatically archive all of our completed to-dos. So you can either use that during your meeting or you can use the archive all button here, which will take off the two that we've completed. Now, when you normal click on a to do, so left click, it opens up the details to the right hand side. So on top of just having the title describing what you want to get done, a lot of times there might be notes in here. And the reason is a to do is often created from an issue. So during your meeting, while you're going through that IDS and issue solving portion, you may be turning your issues, those things that you need to solve, into to-dos, since that's how you're gonna get the issue resolved. So a lot of times there might be details or notes from that meeting specifically, or this one, for example, this is a to-do that was created for Morocco, and I can tell that because it's been made smart, there's some milestones in here, and so maybe there's a specific action item we needed to get done in order to get this rock back on track. And the to-do has a lot of common characteristics of our rocks and our issues as well. So you can see and change the team that it's on here. You can change the owner up in the top right. And then as I scroll down, there's also the opportunity to add attachments and then also comments on here. And then each week you can also see your completion rate. So as I'm getting things done, that will auto update for me. And the reason it says 100% right now is because my other two to-dos that are due on July 29th, that's a future date. So in the completion rate, we're really only looking at what's due today and past due um, instead of worrying about everything in the future. So the number gives you a total, but then the percentage is accurate to, hey, what was my completion rate for this specific week? Not worrying about all of my future to-dos that I have in here. And just like rocks and issues, if you would like to see the items that you have archived, you can toggle this over up here at the top. And now you can see all of your archived to-dos. The great thing about this view is you can also see what was not completed on time. So if you had a to-do that was due by a certain day and it was completed late, you get a visual reminder for that. And when you open these up, you can see the details um, when it was archived on and some of that information in here as well. So that is my quick update on to-dos. Let me know if you have any questions through this live chat down here and we would be happy to help. Have a great day.